Do you want to learn more Korean? Visit TalkToMeInKorean.com to get the best Korean lessons for you. After watching this video, you will know the difference between 쉽다 and 싶어하다, which both translate to to want to do something. Hi, I'm Hyunwoo from TalkToMeInKorean.com. Today's question is about the difference between 쉽다 and 싶어하다. We do have a lesson on 쉽다 and also have another lesson on the difference between 좋아하다 and 좋다. So if you combine the knowledge from those two lessons, you will understand uh, how 쉽다 and 싶어하다 are different. But here's a lesson to save you some time. So 쉽다 is usually used in the conjugation form 고 싶어요, okay? In the present tense, 고 싶어요. For example, if you say 저 집에 가고 싶어요, 저 집에 가고 싶어요, it means that you want to go home. 저 집에 가고 싶어요. Or if you want to emphasize, as for me, 저는 집에 가고 싶어요. 저는 집에 가고 싶어요. And if you want to watch a movie, 저는 영화 보고 싶어요. So you can post, you can put all sorts of uh, verb stems in front of 고 싶어요 to say that you want to do something. But if the subject changes from I to somebody else, you cannot use 싶다 or 고 싶어요 anymore because it's a different situation. So for example, um, this person that I'm talking about is, let's say, Yeji. Yeji is uh, the name of our newest Talk To Me In Korean teacher who, who you will start. By the time this video is out, maybe you will have seen her a few times. So let's say Yeji. Yeji Shi, to be formal and polite. Yeji Shi Nun. If you say 집에 가고 싶어요, if you end it like that, it either is incorrect and unnatural or it has to be a question. Like Yeji Shi Nun, like you. 예지 씨는 집에 가고 싶어요? You know, as a question. So you can use 고 싶어요 about I or you, but not a third person. So if you want to say that 예지 wants to go home, you have to say 싶어해요. 싶어요, again, applies to I or you, and about a third person um, situation, 싶어해요. 예지 씨는 집에 가고 싶어해요. But there are some other exceptions too. So for example, if you say that Yeji says she wants to go home, you are using a reported speech sentence. In that case, you say Yeji 씨는 집에 가고 싶대요. 집에 가고 싶대요. So you don't say 싶어하대요. It's incorrect. 싶대요. So there are some exceptions like that. Um, but normally, if you want to just say that they want to do something, 고 싶어해요. Let me give you some other examples. Um, uh, 저희 엄마, my mom, 저희, 저희 엄마는 영화를, so she wants to watch a movie. Can you guess what it is? 저희 엄마는 영화를 보고 싶어요. Unnatural. 저희 엄마는 영화를 보고 싶어해요. If you're being a little bit casual with the sentence, 저희 엄마는 영화를 보고 싶어해요 is more natural. Uh, and you can also add the she suffix to be more honorific, to be more polite. 저희 엄마는 영화를 보고 싶어 하세요 also works. Of course, you can go even further uh, by saying 저희 엄마께서는 or 저희 어머니께서는 to be even more honorific, but I'll stop right here. 저희 엄마는 영화를 보고 싶어 하세요. Okay, and then using reported speech, you can say 저희 엄마는 영화를 보고 싶으시대요 or 저희 엄마는 영화가 보고 싶으시대요. I'll save the explanation about why 영화를 보고 싶으시대요 and 영화가 보고 싶으시대요 both work for another lesson. So that's the main difference. If you are talking about something that you want to do, 저는 집에 가고 싶어요. 저는 맥주 마시고 싶어요. 저는 한국어 잘하고 싶어요. Stuff like that. You use 고 싶어요. But about someone else wanting to do something, uh, 예지 씨는, 석진 씨는, 주연 씨는 한국어 잘하고 싶어요. It's, if it's not a question, it's unnatural. So you have to say 싶어해요. Okay? When you are describing what they want to do. All right, so that's it. Um, and if you want to study more Korean with lessons like this, please visit 
talk to me in korean.com and you will see tons of lessons right there. So we'll see you in the next one. 감사합니다.